How's it going? So I was completely wrong about the motor on the uh, Tolaria Triple X. Let's go for a ride and we'll talk about it. All right, so just to give you guys a little bit of background, I had a uh, fully upgraded 72 volt Suron and I was super psyched when this bike came out when I first saw it on a, uh, that first video on Suronster's channel, right? So a buddy of mine bought it the same day, this very bike here, the same day it came out off of uh, Luna Cycles. And uh, he had it for a little while, it was a little small for him. You know, he didn't really like it that much. And uh, I wanted it, so I offered him a trade for my 72 volt Suron, you know, plus, plus cash, of course. And I did a little research on it, right? So I don't think Suronster didn't actually say it's the exact same motor as the Tolaria Sting R. You know, I think he said it was similar, which it is similar because it's an IPM motor, right? And IPM motors, because the magnets are all internal, they're on the inside of the hub instead of glued to the outside, when the motor spins, you have that, I don't know, centrifugal force or whatever it's called. You know, if, if the battery gets too hot, the adhesive can come undone, those batteries, I mean, the, not the batteries, but the uh, magnets can come off and it can cause damage to your motor, right? But when they're internal, they're going up against the hub, right? So they're more secure. They're, they, they, I guess they're, there's some cooling. So there's some cooling advantages, I think. In any case, because the Tolaria Sting R has the IPM motor, you can run a lot more power through it than you can like a stock Suron motor when you go to upgrade, you know, when you get your aftermarket controller and you get your aftermarket battery. Some people can do 20 kilowatt tunes on their Suron. I had a 15 on mine and never had an issue with it, but you know, I think, and, it, and then you see these people who get the Tolaria Sting R, they're putting the upgraded battery, aftermarket controller and all that kind of stuff on it. And they're getting, you know, easily 18 20 kilowatt tunes and the bike's handling it just fine right so i heard that the the triple x had the exact same motor obviously there's some differences because the sting r has a gearbox and the triple x has a uh, belt primary drive so it's different or reduction or i don't know what you call it but you get what i'm saying but i still assumed like the internal workings of the motor were going to be the same right so I heard they were the same, you can run just as much power through a stock Triple X motor as you could a uh, Tolaria Sting R motor, and that was my assumptions, you know. You know what they say about assumptions, they make an ass out of you and me. But anyways, so I made the trade, thinking eventually I could really beef this thing up. Did I pass where I was going? You know, so I've been looking at the Chai battery, I've been looking at this other battery, I forget what it's called, but Chart Cycle Works is selling it. You know, and I've been wanting to pick my battery based on, you know, the output, the peak output, you know, because I want to get that 18, 20 kilowatts of power running through this motor so I can get as, as much power out of it as I can, you know. So anyways, I thought that up until a video came out this weekend by Tolaria Boys, uh, they were upgrading their Triple X with a, uh, the EMBX X9000 controller and... Um, that battery, I'll, I'll flash what it's called on the screen here, that battery from Chart Cycle Works. But then they also had a Soshin motor, and I was like, oh, why are they doing that? That's interesting. It's interesting because, you know, why would they get a Soshin motor if there's like a IPM motor on the bike stock that can, you know, take 18, 20 kilowatts? It doesn't, doesn't make any sense. You know, so I just gave them a little comment on their video, which, you know, I'm super excited to watch their, their build. I think it's going to be crazy with that Soshin motor, but I was just curious, you know, if they could test it with the stock motor first, you know, the battery and the controller before, you know, they put on the, the Soshin motors so, because most of us aren't going to be upgrading our motors too. And they replied like, no, they're not going to be doing that, which is fine. And they said that the XXX is only going to be able to take about 12 kilowatts anyways. So I'm like, no, no, sir. Here's the, uh, the comments here, right? So somebody else asked, well, isn't it the same as the Sting R? And I put, I think I put, yes, you can run like 20 kilowatts through that thing. And the Tolari boys, you know, responded, no, they're not the same. A lot of people think they're the same, but they're not the same. And I remember specifically when I heard that it was the same motor as the Tolaria Sting R, I went to Luna Cycle's website at the Triple X, right? And in the spec section or the overview section, they talk about it being an IPM motor. And then they don't have any other details about the motor. What they do is they link to Tolaria Sting R. So I'm thinking, okay. So since they don't have different specs, if you want the specs for the motor, you got to go to the Tolaria Sting R page where there's, there's not actually detailed specs about power or anything like that. They just get into the benefits IPM motors, but still to me, okay, that's proof. That's proof that the Tolaria XXX 
and the two RSDR have the same motor. So it's reasonable for me to assume that I can update and run the same power through the Triple X as other people have done with their Sting R's, right? So there's a discrepancy here. Tulare Boys is saying one thing, and I believe them because they're working with Charge Cycle Works, and they said Charge Cycle Works is, you know, they're actually testing the Triple X motor because they're trying to create a tune for it because they're going to be releasing the, you know, X9000 for the Triple X with the Triple X tune and the harness and all that kind of stuff right pretty soon and so i think you got that 12 kilowatt number from them i think they're still working on it and testing it so i'm not sure if that's going to be the final number or not but you know i'm not going to call them liars or say they're wrong they're going to know much more than i do because they're in contact with these guys so i was curious so i just reached out to you know luna cycles and i asked them just point blank are they the same motor and they replied to me obviously not Okay, it wasn't obvious to me, and I think it wasn't obvious to a lot of people, because in the spec section of the Triple X for the motor, you're linking to the CR. Anyways, I'm not saying that Luna Cycles is purposely trying to mislead anyone about the motor. I mean, I think they're a good company. I bought my um, Suron off them, my buddy bought this bike off them, I bought accessories off them and they wouldn't when they release cool future bikes i'll probably keep buying off them i'm not saying there's any ill will or purpose purposeful manipulation or misleading or anything like that with them they're a good solid company i'll continue to buy from them and all that but that section for the triple x is a little confusing that they link to the to the Solari sting r i think they should actually clarify that on their website that it is similar in the fact that it's ipm motor which are far superior to them like the suron type motors but it's different from the Solari sting r right so that way, I think a lot of people have bought the Triple X with the assumption that they can upgrade it the same way as they could, you know, as other people upgraded their Sting R's. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. I'm pretty sure a lot of people think that. I was definitely misinformed, confused, dead wrong about it. Pretty much everything I said in the comment section of that Tolaria Boys video was dead wrong. So you can't run 20 kilowatts through it. And another thing I said was wrong, and I said the Luna Cycles said it was the same as the Tulare Sting R, so they never explicitly said it, right? It was just that link to the Tulare Sting R section to go for if you want more details about the motor. So they, they, they never said that, so I'm wrong. They didn't explicitly say that. I, I assumed because of that link. But anyways, so even if it's only 12 kilowatts, that's still fucking pretty crazy for this tiny bike, for the Triple X. So I'm still going to get, you know, the battery and the controller. I'm not going to get an aftermarket motor. I think 12 kilowatts for me is plenty powerful. Now, if you're like a super enthusiast and you don't, you want to run 18, 20 kilowatts through it, yeah, then you might want to get the Socian motors. You're not going to be able to do it with a stock motor, you know, which is fine. So I was confused about it and I was had the wrong impressions. And I assume that other people do too. So I just wanted to make this video just to clarify that. And uh, come out here and dick around a little bit. Oh, shh. God dang it. Well, I'm not going anywhere else after this. <laughs> Got a lot of mud on myself. If you're astute, you'd probably notice something different about my Triple X. Uh, by the way, I got my um, BMX 12 for sale. It's up for 4500 right now. If you're in Houston and you're interested, just, uh, I don't know, leave me a comment. Or get on my, on my Discord. Link in the description to channel discord and send me a message and that's all i got for you guys today thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye